Hi there, this is Anub. Today we are going to talk about a trick that you can use to create technical documentations. For example, if you want to teach somebody to open Intune portal or if you want to teach somebody to open Outlook and send a mail, you don't need to create step-by-step -step documentation from the scratch. You just need to go through the process in your screen and there's a tool that will automatically create the step-by-step -step documentation for you. Isn't it cool? Isn't it very good? So don't skip the video. Let's check that out. So let's check how to create automatic documentation when you are doing some demonstration or demo on Windows 11 device. We'll also see what are steps recorder and how to use it. What are the settings? How to create a step-by-step -step documentation by going through the steps one by one. You don't have to manually take the screenshot and paste it in the document or something like that. This Windows tool will automatically create the step-by-step -step documentation for you. So that is what we are going to see in this video. Go to start menu and check for steps recorder using the search and you can see it over here. Open it up. There are other ways to open this up using the control panel. If you go to control panel, system and security windows tools, you would be able to see something called steps recorder. Steps recorder. You can launch the step recorder from there as well. So clicking on that. Now we have steps recorder application open. This is the maximum size you will get for this particular application. You can see start record option and then settings. These are the two options enabled now. So let's check what is the settings option. Click on that and inside settings you would be able to see there is another settings option. Before going there let's check about steps recorder. This provides windows version details that is 23 h2 etc etc and if i go to settings again in the steps recorder there are a couple of options over here output file if you want to provide an output file then click on the browse button that will open the last location where you have tried this and then give it a file name over here okay and click on save and then there is an option over here screen capture Enable screen capture, yes, then it will capture the screen. If you have multiple monitors, it will capture all the monitors. You don't have the option to select only one monitor. So if you have multiple monitor and then if you want to concentrate only on one monitor, then it is going to be a bit tricky. So I have three screens and we'll see how the results looks. So I'm going to click on OK. I'm enabling the screen capture. Why you want to disable the screen capture? Because you just want to have text information, step by step information, but you don't want to capture the screen because of some privacy issues or something like that. In this case, I'm going to go with screen capture to show you click on ok and then once you are ready to capture you can start recording click on start recording i'm going to do that now the recording is started i'm going to click on windows key and open a word document i have opened a word document and click on template i'm going to delete this hi this is steps recording steps recording now i'm going to save I'm going to close this then without saving it. I'm going to open a different application, maybe Outlook application. I'm going to click on new message and in the new message, I'm going to type uh, email ID and I'm going to send a test message. Test, click on send and then you can do two things. Pause recording if you want and then start again. That is possible. Otherwise, once you are done with the recording, you can just click on stop and review. So I have done stop and review. Let's see. It is still processing. Stopped it. Now it is already stored in the download location which we have. This is the capture which we have created. Click on that and then there is a MHT file that is Microsoft Edge MHT document. This document contains all the details that is captured by steps recorder tool. Click on that. So it says these are the details etc etc 
so it says the file contain the file contains all the steps information that was recorded to help describe and recorded steps to others before sharing the file you should verify the following the steps below accurately describe the recording there is no information below or on the screen that you don't want others to see so verification is must that is the privacy thing password or any other text you typed were not recorded so that's good except for function and shortcut keys that you used that's interesting password or any other text you type not recorded okay that's good then if i go to the steps over here you can see user keyboard input win i pressed on win command no screenshots and then again i clicked on start button let's go to the step 6 first and where i'm opening the document word document so i was scrolling up and down that is why these steps are recorded wheel down on and wheel up on and then and you can see all the steps over here like this backspace 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 i did a lot of backspace over there that is a keystroke i did a control a select all and then delete and then again tried backspace and i didn't save the save the word file just closed it then i started launching outlook from the outlook you can see the new email started even outlook inbox name is listed over here then i started adding text but it is not adding the text information over here in the recording as it is mentioned the top of the speech okay so this is the easiest default steps recorder tool which is available with windows 11 which can easily create a rough document based on your clicks and keystrokes etc etc there are other third party tools to do this but i always wanted to show which is free and which is by default available in all the versions of windows it is available in windows 10 windows 8 and then windows 7 as well hopefully this is also going to get revamped and then new functionalities features will be added to this steps recorder tool as well in future versions of windows 11 and windows 12 similar to paint notepad etc etc now that you know which is the tool to use to create automatic documentation step by step guide and you know there are some settings that can be used to make your life easy so hope this was helpful thank you all for watching see you around